What I'm going to show you this time is how to do a problem called a sex-linked trait. Now the difference between sex-linked traits and regular traits is that sex-linked traits are chromos or rather uh, genes that are located on the sex chromosomes. And the reason that's different is because a male has an XY and a female has an XX. So these genes, these recipes are located on the X. There's nothing on the Y. They're located on the X. But you have to do your Punnett square a little bit different. For instance, problem number 12 on chapter 10 exam, which I think is your fourth genetics, uh, genetics worksheet. This is problem number 12. It says, brown eyes is a dominant non-sex linked trait. So since brown eyes is dominant, you use a big B, and I've given you that. And then it says uh, it's dominant to blue eyes, so you use a little b for blue eyes because that's the weaker, the recessive trait. Okay, but these are non-sex linked. Then it says pointed ears is recessive to normal ears, so pointed ears is weak, and normal ears is, is the strong trait, the dominant trait, and they're sex linked. Now, every time you see a, a question that says it's a sex linked trait, the first thing you want to do is write XY, because that's going to be the father, and XX, which is female, that's going to be the mother. And now when you look at the question, it says in a cross between a brown-eyed, pointed-eared female. So the female has pointed ears. And the way you do this is you look at the traits letter, which in this case is pointed ears E, and you write it on the X. Now for her to actually show pointed ears, since that's the weak trait, that means she must have two of them. So you put one E over one X and one little E over the other X. So you write it like that because this is a sex link trait. You always put the trait above the X on a sex link trait. And uh, it also says the female, well let's get to the male. It says the male is, uh, point is dominant, cross between a brown eyed, point of female. Uh, homozygous brown eyed, normal eared man. Okay, the man has normal ears. Well, he's only got one X. You never put anything over the Y. And since he only has one X, he only can have one of these copies of this gene. And in this case, since he's normal ears, he's going to have a big E. So males only get one copy of a sex link trait because they only have one X, whereas females can have two copies because they have two Xs. So the mother, she has pointed ears, X little E, X little E, and the male, since he's got normal ears, he's got to just be X big E. Now, they also have the second trait because this is a dihybrid cross, and it says uh, a brown-eyed female whose father had blue eyes. Well, here's your female. She's got brown eyes, so she has to have at least one big B. But her father had blue eyes. Her father had blue eyes. And the only way her father could have blue eyes is if he had two little bees. What's the only thing he could have given to her? Another little bee. So now you have the genotype of the, of the woman in this cross. And then it says she was crossed with a homozygous brown-eyed normal-eared man. Where well, here's the genes for his normal ears, and he's homozygous brown-eyed. So brown and he's homozygous, he gets two big bees. Now remember, this... The eye color was not a sex link trait, so it doesn't go over an X. Only the sex link trait do you write over an X like that. Once you get this set up, then you can do your normal cross using your Punnett squares, and you take your first trait, which is for eye color, and you can say big B, big B, and big B, little B, like that and then do your cross. And as you can see, you get a ratio of two big B big Bs and two big B little Bs. So then you write that down. Two big B big B and two big B little B. Now you're going to do your second cross and this one gets a little bit more confusing. So I'll put up another Punnett square here. And you take this trait. So you have an X big E Y and an X little E X 
little e. So it looks a little strange, but it's still just a, a standard Punnett square cross. So when you intersect them, you'll get an x big E, x little e, x little e, y, x big E, x little e, <coughs> and x little e, y. So when you look at your ratio, you've got two babies that are x big E, x little e, and you have two babies that are x little e, y. Now, because these two are x's, those are daughters, and because these are x and a y, these are sons, these are males. So you basically get two daughters that have normal ears and two sons that have pointed ears because they only have a little e, so they have to have pointed ears. So here's your second ratio, and you just do your standard branching and do your cross. So you have two x, big E, x, little e, two x, little e, y, two x, big E, x, little e, two x, little e, y, right? Because I just took this ratio and I branched it off each of your first ratio, and then you multiply it out. So you get two times two is four, big B, big B, X, big E, X, little E. Two times two is four, big B, big B, X, little E, Y. Two times two is four, big B, little B, X, big E, X, little e. Two times two is four, and x, little e, y. Okay, so here is your genotype ratio. And then looking at the question, for A, it says, what percent of the daughters would be blue-eyed with pointed ears? Well, where are your daughters? Here are your daughters. What percent of them would be blue-eyed Neither one of them are blue-eyed because they both have a big B, which makes them brown. So the answer would be zero. B says, what percent of the sons would be brown-eyed and normal ears? Well, here are your sons because they're, or rather, here are your sons because they're X, Y. And these are brown-eyed and these are brown-eyed. And normal ears, these don't have normal ears. And these don't have normal ears. They're both pointed ears, so the answer would be zero. Uh, percent of the sons would be blue-eyed and pointed-eared. What percent of the sons would be blue-eyed and pointed-eared? Again, here's your sons. None of them have blue eyes. They all have a big B, so they all have to be brown-eyed. And since none of them have blue eyes, the answer is zero. And D, what percent of the daughters would be brown-eyed and normal ears? Well, here's your daughters. They're both brown-eyed and they're both normal-eared because they have a big E. So the answer would be and that's how you do number 12 on the sheet that says chapter 10 exam.